Good evening. It's our prayer time together, and the Lord has been so good to us. And I know that we have a video of praise to Him already. But as we start out to pray tonight, I do want to give God all the glory, honor, and praise that He deserves. And I feel inadequate that I can do that because He deserves so much. But we do give God worship and praise. I was um, looking at some scriptures today. And I'm going to be reading to you, and yes, I will be looking down to do this. I'm not very good at memorizing, but I want to give you some encouraging words. In Psalms 27, 1, it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And then in Psalms 118, it reads, I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can men do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princess. And then over in Romans 8 and 31, it says, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Praise God for that. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. I thank God for his blessings. I thank him for this week for the ability to be able to go out and work in my garden and to be able to visit with people. Even though we're wearing masks, we can still speak with people and, and talk to them. I thank God for that. I thank God for the outreach that we've felt from our church family, the cards, the phone calls, the food. We are just so appreciative and we do love you and we truly do miss you. Tonight, I'm not going to call out names, but there are a lot of requests. We've had three deaths in the last three days in our area of young people, 25 and under, and they have been traumatic. They have been tragedies, and we need to pray for these families. Only God can give them the comfort that they need at this time. And we also have had some other requests for other sicknesses, those around us. We have a place around us that is a personal care home and they're struggling with the corona at this time. But you know what? I know God is in control and I know God has his hand on each one. And I know that God sees all of our needs before we ask. And I ask that you would pray for the healthy people that they won't fear for God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and love and a sound mind. I thank God for that sound mind. I thank God that I can lay my head on the pillow at night knowing that he's in my bedroom watching over me, keeping me safe and watching over my family and my loved ones. I thank God for that. I will ask that you would pray for those who are sick, those that we hear that um, have cancer, those we hear that have any kind of an ailment. You know, I used to think a toothache was like the worst thing, and then I got an earache. And then I thought that earache was the worst thing. But you know what? When I can rest in God and know that he's taking care of all these things, that gives me a peace. And God helps us through all kinds of sicknesses, all kinds of diseases, and I believe he protects us from these things too. So I'm gonna ask you tonight, if you would bow your heads and pray with me. Let's pray for souls. Um, on Tuesday mornings, we, we have our fast time and we have asked that on Tuesday that you would set a part some time of the day to fast and, and pray for things. And today, I felt the need to fast for souls. I wanna see souls saved and I want to see them brought to God's kingdom. I want to see them call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. I know that there are some out there that probably 
have maybe never been taught about God. And you know, that might really sound surprising, but I believe it happens. So let's be that instrument. Let's pray that God uses us to be an instrument for him so we can go out and we can teach and preach the gospel to every creature. And you know, sometimes we can teach and preach even without saying words. So let's all bow our heads and we're gonna to pray tonight just for all these things and for our country and our leaders of our country. We are directed to do that, to pray for those who have the rule over us. You know, we might not always agree with them. We might not always agree with their decisions, but we still are directed to pray for them and ask God to give them wisdom and to make the decisions that would be pleasing to him. And you know, as much as I don't wanna say it, I'm not always right. Sometimes there are people who know more than we do. And even though we don't agree with them, they may be the ones that are right. So we do need to pray for them. Pray that God strengthens our hearts. Pray that he just gives us that love down within us to share with others and to help others and to reach out to others. But let's pray for all those requests that came in, all those sicknesses, no matter what it is, God's hand is not shortened. I think of when Peter started walking in the water and then he started going under and Christ reached down his hand and Peter took his hand and he took him out. You know what? Christ is reaching down his hand tonight for each and every one of us. So if you have a need, just reach up, take his hand and let him guide you and direct you. Dear Lord, as we come to you, God, we're so very thankful for your blessings. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this week, God. We thank you, God, that you have touched us. And Lord, that you've given us strength. Lord, we thank you, God, that you've watched over our loved ones, Lord, that you've protected them from this virus, Lord. And we also ask, God, that you would be with these ones, God, that are struggling right now, working around it, and knowing that it's just maybe in the next room to them. God, we pray, Lord, for your hand of protection. We pray for a peace that passes all understanding. We pray that souls would cry out to you, God, asking God and trusting in you, God, and asking you, Lord, to be in control of their life, Lord. We ask, oh God, that you'd be with these families of these young people that have passed away in the last three days. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you would touch their minds, touch their hearts, God, reach down upon them, Lord. Oh God, the tragedies in their lives, God. I, Oh God, I just know, God, that it's got to be you, Lord, that gives them that peace, Lord. We can't find peace like that anywhere but through you, Lord. God, I pray for souls, Lord. I pray, God, that through this trying time, God, that souls would find you, dear God, that they would call upon you and be saved, Lord. God, that they would reach out, God, and know, Lord, that you, God, have the answers that they're seeking for, Lord. Seek and we shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto us, Lord. I believe, oh God, that you are blessing each one of us daily, Lord. I believe, God, that you have your hand upon each one of us daily. Daily. And oh God, I thank you for that, Lord. And God, I thank you, dear Jesus, God, for the prayers, God, that you have answered, Lord. God, for the things that you've shown us, Lord. For the beautiful day, God, the sunshine and the rain, Lord. I thank you, God, for all these things, Lord. God, I thank you for my family, Lord, God, and for my loved ones and my church family, Lord. God, and I thank you, God, for everyone, God, within the sound of my voice, Lord. I'm praying for their souls, Lord. I'm praying for their health and their protection, Lord. I pray, oh God, that you would speak to them, God, in a mighty way, Lord. God, I pray, dear Jesus, God, that we would feel your touch daily. Lord, I pray, God, that you would encourage us, Lord God, that you would lift us up, Lord God, and help us, God, to keep on trusting in you, Lord. Help us, dear Jesus, God, to keep on calling upon your name, Lord. Help us to worship you through the songs that we sing, Lord, and God, through the words that we read, dear God, in the Bible, dear God. Help us, dear God, to know, Lord, that you are with us every step of the way. Lord, be with our school children, Lord, as they're still doing schoolwork from home, Lord. God, we pray that you'd be with their parents, Lord. Help them, dear Jesus, God. I know it takes a lot of time, and God, it, sometimes it's a struggle, but Lord, I pray, God, that you would bless them, Lord. I pray, God, that you would help them, Lord. And oh, God, I pray, God, that they would cherish 
every moment, God, that they have with their children, God. Lord, our children grow up, dear Jesus, God, and God, some of them, Lord, move, God, away from us, a ways, God, and we miss that, Lord, God, but when we know, God, that you are with them every day, God, that gives us a comfort and a peace, and Lord, when we know, God, that they're calling upon your name, dear God, in their homes and teaching their children, God, that gives us a peace, Lord. God, we thank you, God, that we were taught about you, Lord. And we're asking tonight, God, that you would be with every one of these parents, Lord, that along with their school lessons, Lord, that they're getting lessons taught on Christ, Lord. God, that they would realize, God, that you are the King of Kings, you are the Lord of Lords, and you are the Prince of Peace, Lord. Bless us now, God, I pray, Lord, and help us, dear Jesus, through this week. Touch our friends and our families, and oh God, every one of these requests, Lord, and every one of these people that we've told, we will pray for God. Give them that touch, Lord, that they have need of tonight, Lord. Help them, dear God, to reach out and receive from you, Lord, what you have for them, God. Lord, you know I need a brand new touch. My strength from yesterday is gone. But if you give me, Lord, another touch, I'll have the strength to carry on. I praise you, Lord. I love you, and I thank you. God, thank you for this time that I can share with others your goodness, your kindness, and your mercy towards us all. We love you, Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We ask all these things. Amen and amen. God bless you all. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you. To God be the glory. Great things he's doing. We might not see everything right now, but trust me, God is working. And we will see more and greater things. God bless you all.